T head and Steph Curry before Steph Curry. 11 matches, their biggest lead out. Moy, long three, yes. Pocket pick down the floor. This is Moy, three in the air. There's a record. He's to get the ball. Never shot on the side, never shot in the corner, never shot no three-pointer. He used to get right in front of the three-point, I mean the free throw line, and just shoot all day. All day, one spot, get the ball, go right back. All day is a little key. It's a little key. And you know, at the time we was wondering, like, man, you ever gonna shoot anywhere else? Look how look how great his jump shot is. 15th grade year. Uh, we ended up going to in Arkansas playing Joe uh, Johnson. Them they was number one in the country. We was uh, top 25 in the country. Uh, this was his coming out party. Yeah, I mean, the first game he ever got in. We played in a tournament at uh, Fayetteville, Arkansas. It was against Joe Johnson. Joe Johnson played for Atlanta Hawks. Now we playing Little Rock Central. His first game off the bench, he scored 44 points. And the headline uh, read in the paper, Old Boy Moore, let's go, go for 44. We got in the 12th grade every single game, sold out. T-Head, T-Head, it's all you hear. Boy gets a rip, he crosses half court, probably 3,000 people in the gym. It's a one-on-none fast break. Everybody starts rising. I mean, the crowd, and it's all just bam, bam, bam. He crosses half court, takes a dribble, from the three-point line, he pulls. When he left his hand, everybody knew it was good. Everybody started running on the floor. They had to stop the game, get the crowd back in the stands. Going down to the third quarter, Coach Horton sold me out the game. I said he had about, if I can remember, he had about 70 points, about 60 something. I was damn near 70. Going into the, uh, going into the fourth quarter, I get on the phone, I have my cell phone in my, uh, in my gym bag. I go to the end of the bench. I grab my gym bag, go in there, I call my AU coach. I said, man, look, whatever y'all doing, I said, man, we over at Manazzi High School right now, man. I said, if you can help it, man, get down here. If you want to witness some history, man, get down here, man. They're like, what's going on? Man, I said, this goddamn T-head got damn near 70 points. And it's a whole nother quarter left. Now the one wagon, you hit 80 in the high school game, and I just tried to beat his record and let him know I can shoot better than him. But you know, I'm not trying to prove no point. I just want to know there's another shooter in town other than him. I just stood there, couldn't see. He was just like he was in the zone, and the players, his teammates knew he was in the zone, so I'm just standing there looking and see a word. I'm just seeing history being made. Just look, didn't have to see a word. Back and forth, back and forth. Step across the half court, knock him down. The corner, he knocks him down. Top of the key, knock him everywhere. I never been through that, you know. I never had to rape nobody, you know. And for me to have to deal with a situation with prison for something I know I didn't do, you know, it, it, it was kind of it was it was heartbreaking, and that kind of stopped me in life, you know, what I had going on. People don't might not understand, like in the penitentiary, they had like a real basketball league. Like you guys had a league and they kept stats and they kept records yes. and like you set all the, and I know this isn't anything to be proud of, but you set all the penitentiary records as well. All of them. Right? <laughs> all of them. You had 80 points in a game. Like it was, I wish I could look it up real quick, but it was like, it was the same thing you did to Manassas, you did to these dudes. The game ain't about how many mistakes you make. It's about how many mistakes you can come back on.